Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts, and today we're looking at Eureka's top of the line home grinder, the Eureka Oro XL. Eureka Oro XL. Now, this is one of the best home grinders in a small footprint and easy to use there is on the market. The footprint is tiny. It's the same footprint as the rest of the Eureka range, the Manuale, the Specialita, the Silento, etc. B, it's a little bit taller because they've put a bigger motor in there and they put the bigger 65mm blades. So this shares the same blades with the Eureka single dose. The XL and the single dose are the same grinder, but the XL has a workflow of running multiple coffees in a row and the single dose literally is a single dose. You weigh in and you grind out. We've done a video comparing the two, which if you click here, you can watch. This video now is just looking at the XL. So this grinder is a small footprint. It's an awesome grinder. Eureka knows what they're doing. They've been doing grinders for 100 years and they've really put together an awesome home line. And one of the nice things about it is the user interface. It really is simple. You've got double and you can go up and down with your time there. You've got your single, which once again, you can go up and down time and you can press both buttons and then you just grind on demand. It's just working down on that switch. And even on a double, you can pause, you can pull out your porta filter, collapse and keep going. You'll just keep grinding down. So you could grind down halfway, let it collapse a bit and then keep grinding. So it's super simple to move. Now, you might have noticed on the single cup, I've only got it set to half a second. And the reason I've done that is at home, you're normally not using a single porta filter. It's harder to use single baskets so the surface area is not the same. So instead of having it set as a double and a single, I normally like setting the single as a purge because at home, if you're not making coffee constantly all the time, the coffee sitting there, there's a bit of retention and that retention effectively is pre-ground coffee. So if I was running to say a coffee every morning, I will purge out half a gram, chuck it out and then change it to double and run my double and you are having the freshest coffee possible. If I was making back-to-back -back coffees, then I wouldn't purge. I'll just leave it on double and just go back to back. Because in that case, you're not really having the coffee sit there for too long. That oxidizes that small amount of pre-ground. Then talking about speed, this grinder grinds two to three grams of coffee per second. Now the speed does vary. The lighter the roast, it takes longer to grind because the bean has a higher density. But generally speaking, on a mid-roast, we are grinding 20 grams in this case, in around the 6.7 seconds. When it comes to adjusting the grinder, Eureka have done something nice, depending on which way you look at it. The, the adjustment here is super easy. And you can move, it's stepless and micro adjustments, you can move at the tiniest of movements. So you really can dial in. And when you are moving that, you're moving a worm drive and you're moving the bottom blade. So compared to other grinders that the top blade is moving on a shaft and over time it gets stiffer, this does remain constantly easy, easier than as the grinder gets older. The only negative is if you are moving from espresso to say filter coffee, you actually have to move it two and a half revolutions and then it is easy to lose track of where you are. So if you're running it just as an espresso grinder or just as a filter grinder, it's awesome. You try and use the same grinder for both. Although possible, it's probably not the most convenient. Going back to this as an espresso grinder, once you've adjusted your grinder, you've adjusted your time, you can put your porta filter and grind away, or you can easily remove the porta filter fork and use a say a dosing cup to grind into. That's become quite popular. Obviously, once you dose into a dosing cup, you can then transfer it into your porta filter. Moving it back, let's just put the fork back in, and the fork is adjustable in height. So if you had different porta filter, we can leave it a single, give it a quick purge. <laughs> Just to get out that small amount of coffee that might have been retention. If you haven't used the grinder for a while, put it into the double, put in your porta filter and let it grind. And there you have it. You've ground away. Now, in most cases, I like to use a scale. I like to weigh out what I've ground to make sure I'm consistent between each shot. But for the purpose of this, it's more to the point of just seeing how even and how fluffy it is. It really is a nicely, very well distributed grind. You're not really seeing boulders, you're seeing very clean distribution. Now you can use tools to even distribute it further, whether you use a WDT or 
a distribution tool, but straight out of the bat, it is pretty ready to tamp down and make your espresso, which is quite nice to see. And grinders do really make a difference. Having a top end grinder on a home setup really does elevate what you can do. Having any grinder helps, but having a top end grinder makes a world of difference. And on that note, if you have any questions on this grinder, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have a question on another grinder, also feel free to let me know. And if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. And like always, please subscribe and see you on the next video.